Well, I have more strawberries than I know what to do with, and I know if I don't eat them soon, they're all going to go bad, so I don't know. What can we do with them? You know what I was thinking? Uh, if I can cut them up and dry them, I'll, have them, I'll be able to keep them a lot longer. I've had dried strawberries before, and I, I really like the way they taste. Anyway, I got a few drying racks here, and we'll, we'll cut them up and uh, dry them and see how it goes. Okay, these two racks appear to have more than enough space for all those strawberries you just saw. So um, now the next thing is uh, to find a place to dry them out. Well, we're not using the sun, sun shed for much uh, this time of year. But uh, the heat inside the storage vault should be sufficient to dry out the strawberries. Um, all right, let's put the strawberries in there and see what happens. The ambient temperature right now is 62 degrees. Let's see what the temperature is inside our sunshed. We want the temperature to be above 100 degrees Fahrenheit in order to dry out our, our strawberries. Remember, the, it's more important uh, for the, uh, the air to be dry than uh, to have a high temperature. We don't want a, a temperature too high. That'll destroy our, uh, the delicate flavor of our strawberries. We want to preserve that, but we want it to be dry inside. Okay, so I said as long as it's uh, over 100 degrees. Now, you can see the temperature inside the heat storage vault is actually 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So that should be more than sufficient. We have our strawberries inside the heat storage vault. We'll check on them tomorrow and see how they're doing. All right, let's check out the strawberries, see how they're doing. Okay. There we are. Well, it's uh, 124 degrees inside the heat storage vault now. Uh, it's been about 24 hours since we put them in. Let's see how they're doing. All right, they look pretty dry to me. What do you think? All right, let's take them inside and, and pack them up. Okay, we had some success. Uh, we put our sliced strawberries in the heat storage vault for 24 hours, and uh, we were able to dry them. We started off with two pounds of strawberries. Remember uh, the plate of strawberries we had before? And this is what's left. Um, that's uh, a little less than two ounces of strawberries. So uh, they taste pretty good, actually. Um, but the, the really nice thing about it is that uh, you can store them for an indefinite period of time. Uh, and that's basically what I wanted to show you. So that's another use of the heat that you have in your storage vault.